Hey everyone, it's Dave here. We're continuing basically the quest to kinda upgrade that we've been doing in a while on the channel. This time it's gonna be a little bit different because I was one of the lucky ones to try out earlier the new update for in -Depth Unchained. Pretty much just uh, Super Bright reached out to me to try this out. Just like before I did kinda the review of it as well, they gave me an extra copy of it and fun fact, in -Depth developers were actually one of the first ones to reach out to me personally to kinda try out their game. So like uh, for me it's kind of like it's just still in my memory as kind of like a channel achievement. I don't know how to kind of like explain that but it's, it was pretty cool. Nevertheless this time we're gonna be uh, checking out this update and uh, the short summary of it is pretty much that they upgraded kind of like the environment for the most part and like kind of how it feels like to move now on the map. Three key points are pretty much that uh, there's a further kind of drawing distance so you can pretty much see further kind of places to go as well as they added like a small kind of islands on the sides to have kind of like more movement on the level and that's also pretty cool because uh, in my gameplays I pretty much uh, sometimes got stuck because I could not like teleport to some parts or like my kind of like reach of teleportation was not like reaching the other part that I wanted to teleport so that's cool that they added kind of like more movement the third one, I think the change would be like this fog kind of thing, more kind of like detailed or the fog ambience overall was not really a particular fan of it. I mean, I didn't really care for that. I feel like I would care more if uh, they would work on kind of like more sharper kind of textures on the enemies itself. They're not that bad because the game already had a pretty good like graphics for a quest, even the first one. So like knowing the capabilities of the quest 2, I would think the textures itself could be a little bit kind of like, you know, upgraded. But hey, I mean, maybe they're gonna think about it like in the next kind of update. But we're getting pretty much an environment kind of upgrade in terms of kind of like ambience. That's pretty much it. I'm not gonna like do a second review of this game because I did it already. So if you want to check it out, check it out feel free to go but I've prepared like a kind of gameplay video of kind of like the changes that will be upcoming in the next update so here we go <laughs> okay so let's start from the sanctuary and from what I'm been seeing I don't think there was this fog before like kind of this ambience kind of mysterious foggy <laughs> environment and um, the textures are still seems like are pretty much the same kind of harsh contours. I would assume the textures uh, could be a bit kind of upgraded in this game, you know, uh, but uh, yeah, but this fog, when you're like kind of sit and you see like the walls and stuff, it's kind of like weirdly penetrating it. I don't know how to kind of describe it. It's, it's like on the walls when you see the fog, it's kind of like not really like a real fog for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. I've not been playing a lot of this game to be honest as like uh, I said before because there were so many good uh, quest games in general up until now so it kinda went to the background unfortunately but from what I've been ri uh, reading from the kinda pinpoints where I should kinda look forward to the quest to upgrade yeah those like little kinda mountains they were not there before but it seems like you can kinda like yeah teleport there just in case if you are like uh, don't know where to go or like uh, in the I think second uh, stage like Paradise Lost I think it was I had problems with going like further because uh, there were not enough kinda like lands to like those islands to kinda land on but what you can like, yeah, purgatory, you can see like those kind of like small islands or like uh, further levels were not before there. So it seems like they significantly kind of upgraded the drawing distance for sure. <laughs> Wait, I saw them there so I don't need to like be surprised. <laughs> Oh shit, he's not going there. Don't block this, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't think Purgatory had this teleporting fuckers. At least I don't think so. Hopefully. <laughs> I 
No. <laughs> Catch up. <laughs> Fuck this pillar. <laughs> okay. To be fair, I think I wish the textures could be a little bit better. Because they could be, you know. It's not bad by any means <laughs> at all. But knowing kinda quest to capabilities. Maybe or maybe the drawing distance kinda really takes a lot of kinda performance aspects of this game. So it's kinda hard to tell. No. <laughs> no tricks on me. I hear something. Oh, there. <laughs> Shit. Okay. On top. What the hell is this? That wasn't there before. Oh shit! Wait, they don't die? Oh fuck this! <laughs> I did not see this enemies before. We have to defeat this. Oh my- Oh, you have to hit the spots. Like in the center. <laughs> die! No, 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 bye. Shit! Yeah! Give me- <laughs> Give me this! <laughs> Switch! Where is it? Oh shit. Yep, yep. Freeze them! <laughs> Ow! Okay, well, no normal arrows are fine as well. Those rafts, I feel like they are new. But that that means I did not check this game in a long time, so they're like a new enemy for me. <laughs> so you really need to like aim at them in this kind of like bad center of the body to even kill them. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> oh, healing! How nice. Hey, what the hell is this? Black Knight? Jesus, those voices. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, because you're like kind of progressing and you unlock kind of new enemies, it seems like maybe those rafts and wait, this dude was not here before. <laughs> it's like a black knight. Oh wait, with more HP and stuff. I mean, it's basically a bullet sponge, so that's fine with me. <laughs> Let's go there. Yeah, so... <laughs> I really like the change that you can see further the world, that's for sure. Um, the fog, I'm not really sure about it. Because as I said you, like, kind of... The fog seems kind of artificial because when you're looking at the walls, it's kind of like penetrates the lot. I don't know how to explain it. It can it's kind of weird, and I like those kind of like little islands change. It's better for the overall kind of movement. Checkpoint. Okay. Where's my explosives? Them because I know for the first boss, explosive arrows are the best ones. Mm, maybe in the next checkpoint, then. Yeah, but I feel like it's pretty much that for this kind of quest to update. Pretty much just uh, further drawing distance, uh, this fog thingy, and more movement uh, around the maps. So, I guess this is kind of fine. Spam! 
I mean, pretty much, this game could be like played over and over. Like, I can't really stop now because uh, I want to reach like the next checkpoint, but I'm gonna finish the video pretty much there. So, those were pretty much the changes.